Hi guys, this is the third attempt with this stupid little old camera. Playing silly fuckers. Um, but I've put a different vid uh, memory card in, Louis said video card, uh, just to see if that helps. And I've set the time and date as well. But uh, anyway, we'll move on and we'll try again. Um, me and Mum did go to the um, village sale this morning. Lots of houses taking part. We didn't get round of all because there was just so many. And after a good two or three hours, we just got bored and had enough, basically. Um, we did get a few little interesting things. Um, we'll start with that first, I think. I've got a pair of personal hi-fi speakers. Say show. I have got the cover for that, it's just falling on the floor. You can run them on a pair or a set of uh, batteries. They came with it. I don't think they're still going to be charged, but they came with it. Or you can use a, um external 6 volt DC power supply. Um, I've got that from the dump. It's a very old one. It's an old library book from my... Well, the last day I can read in that was 1987. Uh, what else? Little metal hard drive battery charger for a pound. I'll take that power sticker off. I've, got, I've already got one of these, but mine's got the European pins on. This one hasn't. This was also two pounds um, with four AA rechargeable batteries. Oh, they actually feel quite heavy. That's a bag, I'm putting that in the bin. Um, blah, 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 blah. what else have we got? I got a PlayStation 1 little handgun for a couple of pounds. It's got all the cables there, it's got the little card thing there as well. PlayStation 2 game. I've got a cuddly squirrel out on the land, and I forgot to bring in, I'll go and get it in a minute. I've got one of these light bulbs here, you know, one of the LED ones with the, um... Bloody hell, they're bright just from doing that. <laughs> yeah, put it in. I'll let these lights cool at some point and, uh... Actually, I'll do let it cool in a minute. The other thing I got, which is the most expensive thing I've bought all day, was this LED dot matrix sign. Good, isn't it? <laughs> Just scrolling away. So easy. It came with the remote control power supply, a manual to teach you how to program it and whatnot, because you can get it to do all sorts of things automatically. The guy who actually paid two grand for this when it was brand new, but I paid uh, twenty pounds. So um, yeah, there's like a few noughts knocked off now. And it does seem to be working. It's been scrolling for the past sort of 10, 15 minutes. All the time I've been trying to make this poxy video. Uh, I'll be glad when I can get a replacement, to be honest. Um, it won't be for another couple of weeks, I'm afraid. Uh, there's been absolutely no bikes down the tip either, so... Shit out of luck for that as well. Um, anyway, that's pretty much... All the items I picked up, apart from my big fluffy squirrel, which is out on the landing. Um, I got that from Biggles when I was at Mum's during the week. Um, I could have just broken up for the rest of the parts. But uh, I've never built a shopper bike, so I'm going to have a go at building this one. It's sort of like 50% there. Um, I need brake calipers for it, which I've got. So I broke, um, you remember that white shopper bike I had here, which I sold? Well, I had an identical one at Mum's without a back wheel, so I put a single speed BMX wheel in it. But I decided to scrap because uh, this frame was actually in bad condition. So I took all the parts off of that, and I'm hoping they're going to go on this. Um, but I also found, if you remember, I've got that orange German bike out on the landing with um, a broken two-piece crank set. 
it's got one of them um, splined axles, you know, just like on a motorbike with a kickstart on a motorbike, or a, I even think the gear shift has done the same way as well. Um, but that's all knackered on that. But, um, on my Universal Shop where I just broke, it's uh, got a two-piece crank, but it uses a cotter pin instead. It's just cotter crank style. So uh, that will, despite having the different mount for the um, crank arm on that one side, because only one comes off, because like I said, it's a two-piece crank, it will fit. It, the rest of it is the same. The bit that goes through the frame and the bearings and the cups are all the same, so that'll do a go on there, and I've got a better front wheel to go in it, better tyres that actually hold air <laughs> to go on it, because um, I'm going to take the back tyre off the BMX or wheel, try again, the tyre off the BMX wheel and put on the iron bike, and uh, that'll be that. So I'm going to start putting this together tomorrow, at least getting it on the wheels. I need a sprocket for the back wheel because I haven't got one, but that should be easy enough to find. Uh, calipers, like I said, I've got. Three speed shifters, I've got. Um, I've got bag parts here, actually. The crank is actually in there that I'm going to put on the orange one. Uh, and the other stuff I've got off Biggles for the grand sum of £10. Is that PlayStation 1 console with booklet and all this PlayStation gear down here as well? Um, we have PlayStation 2 gun, PlayStation 1 gun, Namco 1996 controller. That PlayStation come with all the necessary cables. An unofficial PlayStation 2 controller, which may even work on a, a PlayStation 1, I don't know. There's the PlayStation 1 signal cable. And this gun, or at least I assume it's for that gun, which has got the 4Gamers logo on it, is the reload pedal. So, I presume it goes to that. I've got absolutely no fucking idea where you plug it in. So it's got one of these 3.5mm jacks on it. I forgot this camera doesn't focus. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, all for £10. I could sell the console on itself for about £20 and double my, what I paid for it, you know. Um, which is tempting, because I don't actually need another PlayStation 1 console. I've already got one. I would just want to keep the gun. I don't even need the PS1 controller, so all of that could go with it. I don't need the antenna lead. Uh, yeah, I just want to keep the, both guns, the unofficial PS2 controller and the other WhatsApp cables. Uh, yeah, that's about it for goodies that I brought home. The rest of the bike parts for the shop rat are sitting on the landing at the minute. I haven't brought them in. Yeah, even came in a PS2 box. There was a um, nasty accident just outside of town last night where a um, young lad in his late teens lost his life. Um, all I know so far, according to the gospel, that is news. Um, a patrol car, police car, found him um, driving along with no lights, so decided to follow him. I don't know if they're pursuing him or if they were just following him and he got to the woods just on the edge of the town and crashed why he had no lights on I don't know I don't know like I said if the cops were actually pursuing him but the um I can't remember what's bloody called IPCC they call it, it's like the internal police something commission that does um, investigate incidents has ordered a full investigation so I do believe the road is actually still closed it was it happened at about 3am this morning and when mum picked me up the road was still closed at half nine so 
yeah, big investigation into that. I suppose they'd have to if the police were following them. You know, they're going to want to know everything that they were doing, why they were doing, what they did. Did they have their blue lights on? You know, did the ducks fart underwater? All that. He died from um. Whoops, sorry. He died from head injuries, unfortunately. I'd, when I was lying in bed, I just settled down to get some sleep. And I actually saw all the blue lights reflecting on my wall, so I knew the fire engine had gone out. Oh, sorry, I'm busy. Yeah, have I? Ah, fuck, I was sharp. Where have I just still? Oh, yeah, yesterday I got those DVD racks from um, the All Sorts shop. The All Sorts junk shop. Well, I think you, you could use them for CDs, but... That's actually long enough for a DVD, so that's why I bought them. They're five pounds each, a bit steep, but I actually feel good when I support a local business like that. So all those little racks down there, I'm hoping to reduce to uh, two. <laughs> I hope. Uh, so, yeah, and then I've got all them bloody ones up there, which... Uh, I would like to get into a rack or something so I can free up that shelf for uh, more Lego because I need it. I do like watching my um, dot matrix sign. What am I going to do with it? You might be wondering. Well, I've actually already thought of it because <laughs> great minds think alike. But Mum suggested uh, putting it in the lounge window at like Christmas and have it scrolling Merry Christmas or something because I like doing my light displays. I could put anything in there, really, couldn't I? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to let this turn those off. I want to see this LED in action. Right. Well, the plastic part of these spot bulbs is cool, but I know for a fact the back part's still going to be hot. Uh, I might get a towel just to unscrew those. I'd put it in this, but the um, fitting is wrong. Yeah, it's a smaller fitting. I don't have any other screw fitting light fixtures that I could put that in. Try it. I know it works. Well, as you saw, when I spun the um, lens bit, it uh, made two of the LEDs light up. So I know where the motor's wired. Just bear with me for a second. There's the old orange bike, and there's my wheels. Squiggle. Oi! Come here. Nemo. Nemo. Come on. In it. Come on. Come on, you fucking bastard. Oi. Come here. Nemo. Get here. I can't even put that. I have no short shirt on with a camera. Get in there, you sod. <laughs> He's had a habit of doing that lately. You know I like my squirrels. I couldn't resist this one. Look at that. He was a pound. I am a sucker for cute things, I admit it. Don't you start telling me off. You ran out. You know you're not allowed out there. Don't you talk back to me either. I said don't talk back. My foot's bigger than yours. <laughs> Stand here fucking arguing with a cat. What am I like? Yeah, I am uh, watching a camera on eBay, but I don't have the funds. The funds have ran dry, and I don't have anything. Apart from that, to put on eBay. I don't really want to put that on eBay because it's going to cost to post it. Well, this camera's behaved itself because I had this one in it, the 16 gigabyte card, but it really didn't like it. I know there's um, a corrupt file on it. It might be that. I'm going to have to format the card. But while we let those LEDs um, spotlights cool, we have a little look. Um, it's not a Bart Now auction, it's a 
20 hours left, 25 quid, but I just don't have it. It's similar to what my old one was to look at. I'm not bloody zoom feature. I'm going to take my word for it. It's a different colour. It's a red colour from the look of it. Yeah, it is. Um, but this actually has full HD. My other one didn't, so this must be newer. It's got all the cables, external battery supply, and a remote control. So I'm hoping, what I'm actually hoping, is that no one bids on this, and they relist it. Uh, what I might do is actually um, send them a message. Because um, they may let me bid, and may let me pay next week. And why is it my friend always signs on when I'm on camera? <laughs> almost, it's almost a guarantee. But yeah, I do like the look of this camera. The seller's got 100% positive feedback, so... Yeah, postage is a bit steep. £8.90. Um, it shouldn't cost that much. I actually think that's going to put people off. There's a little Sony Handycam here. 24 quid, 9 bids. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> I need a camera, because I know I don't have many subscribers, but I do enjoy making the videos. My days at the moment just feel completely, don't feel complete unless I've made a video. Right. And yes, I have got my shirt off, but you've probably already noticed that. Get used to it, because it's summer. Well... It's supposed to be summer here. I wouldn't call it summer myself. I'd call it more like a um, a tropical season, like you'd get in, like I don't know, India or somewhere. <laughs> That's what it's like. Oh dear. Let's just see if this is cool enough, shall we? If I start yelling, then you know it's not cool enough. Well, the front's cool. Ow, 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 the back's not cool though. Oh, is that actually going to fit? That's, <laughs> that's a tight fit. Whee! It works! <laughs> I can't remember if I paid. Yeah, I did pay a pound for that. That, I have to say, the ones I've seen on um, Big Clive review on YouTube are a lot noisier than that. That's actually pretty damn quiet. Well, that motor made both the blue and green LEDs light up, so I presume it's wired straight across both, that motor. That is actually quite a nice, uh, quite a nice disco effect, that is. We'll just turn the main light off and have a look. Get something like this. I don't have a decent camera to film it with. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that is actually quite funky. I think I may have to go on eBay and find another couple. Oh, it's looking a bit jerky on the camera, though, isn't it? I will do. When I get a better camera, I will do a better video, and I'll do a better video on the matrix sign when I've learnt to. Properly um, program it. I actually think so. Another one, a couple of those, one in each light fit, would actually look um, quite nice, wouldn't it? That's so quiet as well. You could easily have. You don't need to buy expensive disco lights for a home birthday party either, do you? You could just get a couple of these, put them in a couple of fixtures like this, and you've got your own homemade. Uh, Disco lights. I think that could that motor could be a little bit s slower. I think that's a bit quick, but I like that. I like that a lot. Are you talking bickies or did I eat them all? Oh, I have got a couple. That's all right. I'm not having them till tomorrow though. That is quite funky. <laughs> I 
that's all it is. I know these aren't very expensive either. Oh, that bottom bit's got rather warm, but it could be because I've put it into the warm fin. That's nice. I like that. I just need a proper fitting. That would have looked nice in that fitting if it had the, had that size Edison screw fit, but that's got the SES fitting. Small Edison screw. Let's put my spot bulb back in. My lead spot bulb. You know, the European Union banned incandescent light bulbs over here. Um, even though I can actually still go into my main department stores in town and buy them. Although they are stupidly cheap. But I can't imagine that it's taken from 2011 till now to get rid of all surplus stock. I could be wrong, but I can't imagine it. Um... But to be honest, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, bulbs. <laughs> Don't believe I just did that. Right, bulbs. Yeah, because someone, a friend of mine who voted leave for the EU, that's fine. I've changed my mind, I'd rather stay, so I'm glad I didn't get the, to go and vote, but... Uh, yeah, um, it was in a list of um, balmy EU rules and where they banned these incandescent bulbs because the article said they could make a comeback. Well, to be honest, I don't want them anymore. One, incandescent bulbs use a hell of a lot more power. A 60 watt incandescent light bulb or a 3 watt LED, which gives out the exact same amount of light or near enough the exact same, you know, near enough the same amount of light, I should say. Shouldn't really say exact because it isn't, but it is pretty damn close. No, so a bulb that uses 60 watts of electricity to a 3 watt bulb that can produce the same amount of light for a lot less, you know, only 3 watts. <laughs> know which one I'd choose. And I've just gone, I was a bit skeptical on LED bulbs at first. I think that's because I know the early ones weren't as bright and were pretty much just for decorative purpose. But, uh, yeah. I'm like Big Clive on YouTube. If you see this video and you like electronics, go across to his channel. He's obsessed with lights like I am. That's probably why I like watching his videos. Yeah, um, he's always tearing down various LED bulbs and whatnot. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever go back to incandescent. They just... They're hot. They burn so bloody hot. They're so inefficient. I don't even like... The, the type of light that comes off of them. I don't like how they look anymore. I've just gone completely off of them. Uh, I'm not even a fan of CFLs anymore, either. I'd rather have them to an incandescent bulb, though. Because again, they're cheaper to run. <laughs> oh dear. I'll have a look on eBay for some. I um, can't remember what those bulbs are called now, though. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off here, I think. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to have to go and find my box cutter so I can open up the USB port. But if you remember, and for those that are new and don't know this, with this camera I've got to tape all around the edge just to keep the battery catch closed because uh, I dropped it a couple of years ago and broke the clip on the battery pack so I've had to tape it shut ever since. Um, so obviously I tape over the USB port so I've just got to open that up with my box camera. I can't remember where I put it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do apologise that I'm having to use a piss poor camera again. But I promise you, I am going to get another one. If I miss out on the one I'm watching, oh well, I'm just going to go and find another one on eBay. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all again, hopefully, tomorrow.